of you. And I agree with him. It makes no sense. He's a prophet, is so stupid, so foolish, is so dumb, is so crazy, and he is so much in control of the nonsense, which means he is the king of nonsense. I will give you an example. This is here Muhammad talking, and when Muhammad talk, as we said, he don't talk, he make poo, poo He said in this hadith that when a woman, uh, her husband, he asked her to come to sleep with him, and she don't respond, Allah, angels, are going to spend the day cursing her. I mean, who is the stupid here? I hope the Muslims, they can post a comment, because this is obviously very stupid. If a woman, she doesn't sleep with her husband, Allah will be cursing her. Why? If the man don't sleep with his wife, Allah will curse him. Never said Muhammad such a thing. And he made a religion fit with his own. He is not making it fit with the man. All what he care is himself. He is the God who he want women to be subdued to his private part. He don't really care for much for the Muslims as much he care first for himself, for he is a man too. And he want the women, all his women, not to give any excuse so they will not have sex. And imagine how silly, how stupid this statement is. A woman, maybe she's tired, maybe she don't feel like it. You know, a sexual thing is just, uh, you know, it's not just like I'm hungry, I need to eat. It's a must. It, it needs a uh, kind of suitable time, perfect time, where both they want it. Muhammad, he don't care for both. The word both that does not exist in his dictionary. What exists is me as a man, and now I need it. And you, as a woman, you are a sex toy, and you do it. So to scare the women in order to obey their husbands, especially when it's come to sex, he have to come with something very stupid and very weird. Imagine there is billions of a human being. We are almost eight billions. And imagine between the Muslims, the Muslims they say they are 1.4 billion, and uh, next week they will say 1.6. Actually, already they said that. I heard the king of Jordan. And two weeks from now, they will say there are two billions. It's like rabbits. All those numbers are false anyway. But imagine, for the sake of argument, 10% of the women, of the Muslim women, they are not obeying the order of their husband to come to bed and take off their panties. 10% of the Muslims, you know, we are talking about the women. Let us say if 10% of the 140, 1.4, uh, let us say the 140 million is the percentage of 10%, and then 50% is the women, if not more. That will make it uh, more than 70 million. 70 million women, the angels of Allah, you know, they will be cursing them all night. How they curse them? Allah curse you, Allah curse you, Allah curse you, Allah curse you, Allah curse you. All of this involve a penis of a man and a vagina of a woman. What kind of a silly God, stupid God, stupid angels would do such a behave? All of this because she refused to take off her panty? You will not find Muhammad saying that God will curse you if you don't cook or did not clean the house or you did not, uh, you know, do what women usually at that time do. He insists that the curse will come when it's come to sex. Another sign of the stupidity of your prophet, which you yourself agreed that he must be stupid, keep making no sense when he talk. As an example, this hadith, Muhammad uh, 
speaking about a man who came to visit him, a blind man. And this blind man, it says here, I was with the Messenger of Allah, along with the Maimuna, etc. So Aisha, uh, Ummu Salam is speaking, the wives of Muhammad, that a guy, his name Ibn Umm Maktoum, and there is a verse that uh, came in the Quran about him, this guy, actually uh, three verses, I think, at least, uh, who was a blind, come to visit him. So the man is a blind man coming to visit Muhammad. And Muhammad, when he heard that he is coming in the door, he said something very stupid, only stupid people will say. He said, the Prophet of Allah told us, hide ourselves, to hide ourselves from him, i.e., observe hijab, okay, to wear hijab. We said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, he is blind and is unable to see us. Those women, they are smart, not like the stupid Muhammad, nor does he know us. So he blind, he cannot see us, he never recognized us, and we will not he will not know even who we are because he cannot see us. He replied, Are you also unable to see him? What the stupid mad person. If you ask any Muslim, is hijab mean a Muslim woman she cannot see by her eyes, a strange man? They will say no. Hijab is a woman we wearing certain kind of clothes not exposing certain part of her body. Muhammad, he said, the women, she have 10 private parts, and one of them, her voice, and one of them, her, you know, and the rest, like all of them, hands and legs, and etc., and feet. But this man, they will not talk. They will not, he's asking to, to them to wear clothes. But the man, he cannot see them. And Muslim women, they are allowed to see men. So he is a blind, and now Muhammad get busted. So they say to him, okay, well, he is a blind, he cannot see us, and he cannot recognize us. So what the point of the hijab? And here the stupid Muhammad, he give an answer, showing us that he have a PhD in stupidity. He's saying, he is a blind, are you blind too? But if you wear the hijab, still you can see him. <laughs> Since when, if we wear the hijab, if anyone would still say, you, a man or woman, try it. Put, cover your head, and that will not make you see him. What does that mean? Stupid. This is a garbage. And this is who is your prophet, who yourself said, he must be stupid, saying nonsense. Now, I did not go live in this podcast just because I'm trying and testing this uh, broadcast to see if the internet here is good. So I want to play it and see after I finish. If it's good enough, maybe next time I will go live and you guys, you can be and join us in the chat. Please leave your comment and don't forget to speak about the nonsense of the stupidity of Allah and his prophet Muhammad. Thank you very much and stay tuned with the coming broadcast. If the internet is good, I mean, we will see how this one come, if the voice coming good, if the picture running, if I have uh, fine then maybe the coming broadcast is going to be live and you join me in the chat. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Thank you.